So the, the story in the Southwest is the story of water. Even without climate change, we already have many multiple challenges with water. We have episodic droughts, we have a growing population, many demands on the water supply. And what we find, one of the major, major impacts of climate change on water supply is through snowpack. We're noticing earlier snowmelt, earlier timing of, of runoff into uh, streams. The precipitation is being uh, released more in the form of rain, more and more instead of snow. And that's a, an issue because it's the snowpack is one of our main uh, natural water reservoirs. So climate change is kind of upping the ante in terms of uh, water management. Some people may find it ironic, given that water is the big issue in the West, that temperature is driving so much of the change. California provides a tremendous amount of fruit for the United States, and those trees need chilling hours. They need cold temperatures in order to eventually produce blossoms and fruit. The increase in temperatures will tend to reduce the yields and the quality of the agricultural products. One of the big implications for the Southwest, if we stay on the path of having uh, high rates of, of heat trapping gas emissions in the atmosphere, is that it changes the, um, the paths of storms through altering the jet stream, and we have uh, an aridification of an already arid area. And that, of course, has implications across the board from our uh, water supplies to our urban areas uh, to our interior forests and uh, uh, increasing the risks of fire with a longer snow-free season. But perhaps equally or maybe even more important for urban areas is extreme temperature. And as we have increased temperature, we're amplifying the risk to public health.